Hi, it's Rob Clark from Learning Architects here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage users in the G Suite admin console. Um, I'm going to cover the importance of having a well thought through organizational unit hierarchy and how that enables you to control what different subsets of users can do inside your system. So first thing to do is to get to the admin, admin console. So you can type in admin.google.com and it will take you there. Or you can click on this little cog inside your email and choose manage this domain. Or the third way that you can do it is you can use the app launcher and locate the icon for the admin console and click on that. And that will launch the admin console for you. It may ask you to log in again just to check that you are who you are. So I'll do that. Um, once you're in there, you'll be presented with the G Suite admin uh, console dashboard. So this has a whole range of different um, areas in it. The main area that we're going to look at is the users section. Okay, so click on users. Now, in the users section, one of the most important things that you need to do if you are a school is make sure that you have got a clear organizational unit hierarchy set up. So this is on the left hand side here. You can manage your organizational units by clicking um, in the bottom. Um, and beyond that, uh, we always recommend that students are placed into the year group, uh, organizational units are, that are organized according to the year group that they belong. Now, the reason for that is so that when students, as students progress through the school, you can easily just rename the organizational unit and move a whole subset of users at one time. So if I take Isabella C, uh, for example, this is my daughter, um, who I've set up as an a, um, example student. And if I come to the top right hand corner here, I can send an email from here. I can add her to a group. But importantly, I can change the organizational unit that she is in. OK, so let's imagine that she was in uh, the Year 7 2015 group, although it's now 2019. I'll rename it in a sec. Cl click the organizational unit that the student is in and click Continue. Now you can move multiple people at once. This will give you a warning saying that some services may not be turned on and service level settings may change for those users. Now, what these organizational units do is they control the aspects of the Google environment, i.e. which apps along here that they can access, and more importantly, what they might be able to do inside those apps. So for example, you might want some users to have Hangouts and other users not to have Hangouts. Or some users over 13 will get Google+, Plus, but those under 13 might not. OK, so they're two common examples of how organizational units become important. So if I want to change the names of these organizational units, I choose Manage Organizational Units. Then I go Locate the one that I want. In this case, for this one, I want to rename it. So I'm going to rename it uh, 2019. Save it and do the same for the Year 8s as well. OK, so this makes the whole process of archiving students at the end of the year and um, as they progress really, really easy. But more importantly, it allows you to control what they can and cannot do inside your domain. That is how you use organizational units to manage your users inside the G Suite admin console. This will make um, it easy to control what users can and cannot do inside the system, as well as streamline and save time for archiving users at the end of the year. For more, please see learningarchitects.com or connect with us at facebook.com forward slash learningarchitects.